This is going to be a quick video to finding uh, the inverses. Uh, just a couple of examples, a couple number of examples. Uh, we're going to be finding the additive, uh, finding the additive and the multiplicative inverses of each of these numbers. Uh, notice I have them kind of categorized. Here's additive and here's multiplicative. Okay, so I have these two numbers, 12 and negative 5 ninths, or excuse me, negative uh, 9 fifths. So we'll start with the 12. Now, what additive, again, this is kind of vocabulary here, a lot of vocabulary. The additive inverse is what you're looking for is, is, is two numbers that add to get zero. So if 12 is going to be one of your numbers, your additive inverse is going to be a number that's going to um, is going to be a number that makes it that gets zero, so that's going to be a negative twelve. Okay, not too overly complicated there. It's basically just your. You could also think of it as just the opposite. Okay, so your additive inverses are twelve and negative twelve. Okay, now on the other hand, the multiplicative inverses, um, multiplicative inverses are two numbers that are going to multiply to get one. This is a little tougher, so you need to take twelve times something to get 1. Now, if you really wanted to, you could write an equation out of that. 12 times something to get 1. And with that equation, you could um, you could figure out what this x is and figure out what that number is. I like to just do this logically. Uh, it really helps with the, with the arithmetic. So this is 12 times what is going to give me 1? Well, 12 times 1 twelfth is going to get me 1. Okay, if I have 12 on top and then 12 on bottom, those are going to cancel to get me 1. So 1 twelfth is your multiplicative inverse. Another way to see this is that 12 and 1 twelfth, they are reciprocals of one another. And so for multiplicative inverses, you're looking for the reciprocal. Okay, a lot of vocabulary going on there. Okay, so... All right, down to the second example. So from the first example, we could just see the additive inverse is just going to be the opposite. So the opposite of negative 9 fifths is a positive 9 fifths. There's my additive inverse. And then uh, to get the multiplicative inverse, what I want to do is I want to take the reciprocal of this. So my reciprocal is negative 5 ninths. Notice that the negative stayed there. When I multiply, I have to take a negative times a negative to get a positive. Okay, and then... 9 on top, 9 on bottom to cancel, 5 on top, 5 on, or excuse me, 5 on top, 5 on bottom to cancel, and then everything's just going to cancel to 1. And so those are your multiplicative inverses. All right, kind of review just a little bit. Additive inverses are going to be opposites of one another. Multiplicative inverses here and here, they're going to be reciprocals of one another. That's kind of an easier way to, uh, to remember that. All right, uh, that's it. That's, uh, that's my summary for finding inverses. I hope this uh, video was helpful.